Now then, in, the, in the city of Fort Worth, if you put an oil absorbent boom and run it through a screen like in the vacuum sludge filtering system, you can discharge that water down into the sanitary sewer. And the city of Fort Worth has been doing that with contractors uh, for about 12 years now, and it's had a very positive result. They've never been able to detect any uh, wastewater from the contract cleaners into the POTW for the last 12 years. And the dirgents in the storm drain have decreased from about 65% down to 4 to 14% over the last 12 years. So I'm gonna fire this back up now and I'm gonna discharge some water down into the vacuum boom so at this time I gotta restart the generator What I want to do now is just run a little water down through the vacuum boom so you can see it pick up water. Move the cameras in here so you can see how rapid that will pick up about 10 to 15 gallons a minute. Normally you'd want to run this down, you got to, down the side of a curb or use your I'm going to go turn that heat off so we get rid of our steam. I call it water control devices. If you can see, that'll pick up the water about as as fast as you're laying it down. The vacuum boom's coming 5, 10, 15, and 20 foot length, and the shorter it is, the better it works. Again, we'll tie in some stock footage of that down a, a curb drain working. These water dams coming 4 foot 20, 10 foot, 20 foot, and 50 foot lengths. So, I call them water control devices so that you'd want to set your dam so that it's going to divert your water over in front of your vacuum boom in order to pick that water up there for your cover water. Remember, your objective is to capture your wastewater not have anything go down to the storm drain and discharge it to sanitary sewer. So if you're on a parking lot, you probably need 20 foot, 50 foot dams in order to channel your wastewater over to your vacuum boom. So you're gonna have to look at your layout. You're gonna have to do a site survey and decide what, what the water flow is in order to put your oil absorbent booms and everything down to take all the free oil and that will remove all your oil sheen. Okay, this is a 20 foot portable dam. That's a four foot there. 
So this will give you an idea of your water control devices to where you can direct your uh, wastewater down to a narrow area then, then pick the water up. We generally find it's more cost effective to use a five foot or 10 foot va vacuum boom and use portable dams to control the flow of the, of, of the wastewater. That's just to give you an idea on how you can lay that out. Then of course you fill it up with water. If you fill it up with sand, it's hard to get the sand out. And in a contractor situation, you need to be able to fill them up with water. When you get finished, you need to be able to pull the plug and then, and then drain them. Okay, the next way to pick up your wastewater is with a sump pump. It's a wash pit sump pump, WPSP. Okay, basically, it'll, it's self-priming. Uh, you got a garden hose hook up to it. Now I just found a little indentation, of course, on the wash place. You're going to be looking for any place water will pool up. So put water in there. I'm going to start up the generator and the pressure washer. And then you can either discharge it, your hose, the sanitary sewer, or you can discharge it back into your recovery tank. In this case, I'm going to put the discharge location back into our recovery tank on board the the uh, vacuum uh, the recycle 16. So this time I'll start the generator again. Pressure washer fired back up. And we'll run a little water. Down here for it to pick up. As you can see, it'll automatically reprime itself and keep discharging water. And it'll do about 10 gallons a minute. And we have the bag, the, the basket filter in there to keep the debris out of the sump pump. Yes. Okay, we're gonna show antifreeze in the unit. Change the valve over here to suck from the antifreeze. There it is, I'm gonna put that down there. We're gonna suck antifreeze up through the pressure washer, through the high pressure hose, and I'm gonna pull on the trigger till it comes out the end. But I'm gonna walk over there and shoot the water out on the uh, wash pad. Okay. 